All right, I go. It's a bit of an update on the new truck. Um, you saw last time in the video it was sitting outside. We've now removed the body off the back of it. Okay, and I've got it over in the truck. Um, for the people who do know me and use me as a towing service, they know the old Silver Girl pretty well. Um, yeah, I build these beaver tail trays. Um, I'll give you a quick look at them. Yeah, okay, so yeah, beaver tail. I put a double beaver on them, okay, so that they um, you can get super, super low stuff on, okay. The ramps actually slide up underneath that ramps actually out of the dual cab. Um, but yeah, they work really well. Um, it enables me to be able to keep the prices cheap and people around here appreciate that. But yeah, that's what they sort of look like. Um, I'm just going to build the exact same tray again. They work well and they're all good. And yeah, so I'll show you where I'm up to in here with the um, the new truck. Okay, so yeah, I've got her set up in here. Keep me out of the wind with the MIG, which helps. Um, just sort of starting to set her out and mark it all out. Um, we'll go the same. It actually works out about the same. The rear axle width is actually um, slightly wider than the other truck, which is good. Um, the actual length axle centers from front to back of the truck are the same, which is good, um, which enables me to make pretty well the same tray. I'll be able to, because of the way this cab's actually set up, I'll gain probably 250 mil on this front section here, okay? But yeah, so today I wanna get these runners in place and at least a couple of cross braces set out okay easter is coming up um not this weekend but next weekend so i'll have three or four days to really get this done so yeah i'll keep giving you updates righto truck today pretty happy it has taken it's about two o'clock now i was supposed to get here about nine o'clock this morning phone just keeps ringing and toes and it's endless but anyway truck this is where we're at so i'll show you where we're up to so the other night I got stuck in, okay, and I've got the main rails running along. You can see I've bolted these, um, these clamps here in. A little spacer there because the chassis actually tilts a little bit. So they're all in place. Okay, the piece I'm working on now is this bar that runs across the front here, which will have a drop down on it. And I have, when I've built the other ones of these, I retained a template for my angles. So you can see there that bit of rusty channel, okay, which gives me my angles for the beaver tail. Okay, and now I have these long pieces here, which I'm going to translate that angle onto them. But to start with, I'm gonna to have to put the front one on, right down the front there, that piece there, with the drop down pieces, okay, because you can see the other truck that's out here. Those drop down pieces at the front there, for your step, bang, those pieces there are getting welded on now. And then I can measure this out. The new truck's gonna be about 200 mil longer. I don't necessarily need that extra bit, but every bit helps. Okay, so yeah, that's where we're at. I am not going to do a, a time lapse and speed it up and always carry on. I hate watching that stuff. I always just go through it. So I'll just keep showing you as we go. So I'll, um, get this all cut apart as I get it set up I'll show you I'll show you working out the angles as well and go from there and get it together today I just want to have the skeleton of the thing ready and um, I can do all the infills and stuff during the week at night but anyway keep showing you what's going on righto this is where I'm at um, I have welded those side brackets on you can see those and they're welded on bang that one and the little brace there. I've welded the front beam on, which is this one here. Okay, so my other truck is 2,500 wide, which is right on the limit of width. Okay, I've knocked 100 mil off, so this one's at 24. A little bit easier getting in and out of gates. I've done 500 space, 450 spacing in between all of these ones. They're just sitting there loose at the moment. That one there's pretty well in, in place to where I want it because you need DR to see how that one there is gonna sit here and then you'll have another one here and that way your wheel travel is not going to hit on this one here which is where I actually need it but we'll have to just do a bit of creative fabrication to get around that and yeah I'm just getting set up here to mark out my angles on my five meter side lengths so I'm gonna mark these out now um, get my angles right cut them 
and then we can sit them in place so then we'll be able to see our total length and get a pretty good feel for um, where she's going to end up. So yeah, it's coming along good. I'm pretty happy and um, yeah, I'll keep giving you updates. Like I said, not going to do that fast, bloody carry on. Anyway, all right, I'll keep working away and we'll get this all tacked up today. Don't worry. Okay, chop the wedge out. You can see there, that section there has been chopped out. Then we get our set square. We get our angle, make sure it's right. See that there's got oh, three mil or something. And then you sit that there on the inside. Hope you can see this, but anyway, you'll get the general gist of it. Bend that in to where it's got to be. Okay, and then that'll be right. So what I'm gonna do now off the camera is um, put that together, give it a tack, check it, make sure it's right, make sure they're both exactly the same, and then I'll work my way back to the other angle, get that other angle right, and then we'll be able to set it up on the truck. But I'll show you as we go, okay? But um, I hope it all makes sense. It makes sense to me, so I suppose that's all that matters. Right, oh, what a day. That's all I can say is what a day. All right, so give you some updates once again, okay? It seems like I'm cobbling together updates, but better than watching that speed up thing. So, give you a guided tour of where I've ended up today. Okay, I have started to pack up already, but this is where I'm at with the with the new truck. Okay, so, we'll start at the front here. Okay, that drop down piece there is for a step. Okay, so you can see, as I had before, is these pieces here welded on to fix it to the truck. Okay, we have our cross braces on as you can see they're not fully welded most of them are just tacked in place as you can see okay now we worked out our side angles which is a double beaver which will be the same as old faithful okay right oh so when we get down to the end you can see here I've just sort of got that sitting there with the double beaver okay Jack's under there just supporting it a little bit um, yeah, so the, you've got your four pieces that run across. That one there will run up, along, and that's the level of our deck there, and there'll be some other braces that run through. Very happy with how this is coming along, okay? Um, so what I'll get into next time is actually finishing off this back section and some more bracing, side rails and all the rest of it. But what's held me up with that is Old Faithful here, um, done a gearbox last night, done a tow coming out of Dolby, and she started clicking and carry on. These things have a, um, these Mazda T3500s and, um, well, there we go, that's better. These Mazda T3500s and Ford Traders have a five-speed box with an overdrive, which, um, makes them a ten-speed box. Um, I've blown up about four of them. The, yeah, so I've got a five-speed box, I'm going to put that in, um, and hope it's better. I've got a dual cab one out here that I'm um, the least just doing a head gasket on that at the moment. We're actually going to sell that truck. Um, otherwise, I'd get in that and use it. I've got that many jobs to do. Basically, I have to start at lunch on tomorrow. So the old Captain Letho is away at the moment for the weekend. So he's back in the morning and I'll come over early in the morning as well. And we'll both, I've undone everything. It's ready just to drop the box out, put another one in and do it. Might do some front shackles while we're under there. So that's what's held me up on the new truck, got to get this back on the road so I can work, but I think I might finish this video here. We've seen plenty of progress on the beaver tail truck. You really don't want to see me put a gearbox in that because it's not really exciting and trust me, I'm not really excited about it either. So I'll finish this one up here and when I come back with the next one, um, more progress on the beaver tail truck. So usual stuff, like, subscribe, leave me some comments, tell me what you reckon of the beaver tails. You're all going to tell me why don't, why don't I buy a tilt tray? It's because a decent tilt tray starts at 15 or 20 grand. The roads out here are extremely rough. They crack out where the hoists and that go up with the cheaper trucks. Um, the beaver tail trucks work well for what I do, which is cars. I concentrate on cars. I enjoy cars. It's all about cars for me. And the beaver tail trucks work really well for what I do. It also enables me to be able to do cheap towing. Keep the price right down because I'm not into the trucks for a massive amount of money. But I am going to get some shiny wheels for this one. Got to love the shiny wheels. All right, guys. Awesome. I'll get this one edited. I'll get back into weekly updates. And um, 
Anyway, all right, see you later. Bye.